We're joined now by former VP of officiating and Fox Sports rules analyst Mike Pereira. Mm. Welcome. Wow. It's an honor to have you, no, sir. It's so nice yeah. to be here. This oh. is like my first time. And are you? you do you get all that out? Yeah. Of Lombardi yes, now? yes. We're going to leave am you I, Am be. I safe? I'm safe now. I'm None safe. of that we just for you. Hear what you have to say. Yes. All right. Yeah. Do you agree with Cam's criticism of the officiating? <laughs> no, certainly not. You know, I, numbers don't prove it out for one thing. I mean, if you want to take a look at through his first eight seasons, I think it is. There's only one quarterback that has gotten more roughing the passer calls than him, and that's Ryan Fitzpatrick. So he's number two on the chain of calls that have been made. But look at to me, it's deja vu. To me, it's going back to Michael Vick. And they said the same thing about Michael Vick. They used to call me all the time. You're not protecting Michael Vick. What do Michael Vick and Cam Newton have in common? They both like to run. Neither knew how to slide. And so they're gonna get hit. Now in you the pocket. lose. In the pocket, it's a different story. Okay. In the pocket. But even if you're hitting the pocket now, that doesn't mean it's a foul, right? Cam's got certainly a beef on the low right. hit yesterday. Right. He's got clearly a beef on that. He did get one call for being hit late out of the pocket. That was one I thought even was a little bit iffy. But, you know, is, is this a revelation that the sport is dangerous? I mean, <laughs> you know, that he doesn't feel safe? I mean, I, I, I kind of get a sense when I think of Cam, who I, I like love him when things are going good. He's fun to watch. I mean, the things he does, does with handing the balls to the kids, that's fantastic stuff. But last year we had him getting on Ed Hockley. Ed Hockley, he said, told me that I was too young. I wasn't going to get the call. And Ed Hockley said, you're a runner. You're not going to get the call. You could read his lips. So you're getting to me to have a, a, a little bit of consistency of whining here. And I, I don't like... Uh, I don't like whiners when it comes to me, which I think it's not, I don't think it's deserved. I don't have a problem if he, uh, when he's outside of the pocket, when he's outside of that five by seven, five yards wide, seven yard deep, I want the defenders, be it Cam Newton, Aaron Rodgers, or whomever the quarterback is, take your best, cleanest, legal hit to split his dome. But when he's in that pocket, he needs to be protected like the goal in Fort Knox. The guy hit him. It, forget intent. He was hit in his knee. The rule says that was instituted in 2009 that you cannot hit the quarterback in the pocket with your helmet or shoulder pad. That's the Tom Brady rule. You can swipe with your forearm or your hand. He was not protected. I'm not talking about, we're not talking, all we're talking about is in the pocket. Those are the plays because he said, I get the hits to the head. I get running. But when I'm in the pocket, yep. he prefaced it by saying, when I'm in the pocket, when he's in the pocket, Tom Brady has received four of those calls. Aaron Rodgers has received five. Cam has gotten none since 2014. Okay, I, I, get, I get that. But again, you know, I mean, did you see Phillip Rivers yesterday? He just got killed by the Broncos. And they called a low hit on him, too, that for a hit that was low, in a forcible hit, but they picked it up because actually the defender was shoved right. directly into the low hit. Right. So that, that was the right thing to do to right. pick it up. But you're going to get hit. I don't disagree at all. Right. Um, the low hit, even, and they even say in the low hits, it's the knee area. Right. So that's even above the knee right. if there's okay. a question. And, and the swiping, you're absolutely right about the swiping. But how many instances has it happened where Cam has been hit low? I don't know. You know, we know that the first week of the season he got hit high. Yes. And that should have been called. Right. Um, and he even had one, and that was outside of the pocket. Right. But he had one in the pocket that right. could have been two. Right. Um, although Bar it Miller. wasn't, it wasn't as vicious. Right. I mean, it was a almost a face, face mask, mask hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this was a low hit miss. But again, I it, it just reminds me so much of my days with Michael Vick, who people used to complain and complain, and complain. And you're right. You just have to understand, he's gonna get hit more because he's six foot four, isn't he? It's six foot four, mm -hmm. six five, tucks the ball and goes. And yes. And you don't, you know, the point of emphasis with the league this year, they give you an out. They give you an out as a quarterback or a runner. They say slide feet first and give plenty of notice if you do. But Cam's trying to get all the extra yards he can. Get it? That's fine. Mm -hmm. But if you slide feed first, you get that. You become defenseless. You get that same protection that you get in the pocket. Mm -hmm. So I think he's got to learn how to do that.